All who are thirsty, come to the water, says the Lord. Though you have no money, come and drink with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Once again, we have Jesus healing someone who's been lamed and been lamed for 38 years. Let us pray and realize that Jesus heals us no matter how long, how long or how many times we turn to him. He will heal us of our failings as we ask for his guidance and help. We pause for a moment now and ask for that guidance and forgiveness for those many times we fail to do his will. We say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the, hum the hearts of, our, of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me to the entrance of the temple, where a stream came out from under the temple, threshold and flow eastwards. Since the temple faced east, the water flowed from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He took me out of the north, uh, north gate and led me right sound outside as far as the altar east gate, where the water flowed out on the right hand side. The man went to the east holding his measuring line and measured off a thousand <coughs> cubits. He then made me wade across the stream. The water reached my ankles. He measured off another thousands and made me wade across the stream again. The water reached my knees. He measured off another thousand and made me wade across again. The water reached my waist. He measured off another thousand. It was now a river which I could not cross. The stream had swollen and was now deep water, a river impossible to cross. He then said, Do you see, son of man? He took me farther, then brought me back to the bank of the river. When I got back, there were many trees on each bank of the river. He said, This water flow east down to the Araba and to the sea. The flowing into the sea, it makes its water wholesome. Wherever the river flows, all living creatures steaming in, in it will live. Fish will be very plentiful, for whatever the water goes, it brings health. And life teems where, wherever the river flows. Along the river on either bank will grow e e every kind of fruit tree with leaves that never wither and fruit that never fails. They will bear no fruit every month, 
because this water comes from the sanctuary and their fruit will be good to eat and leaves medicinal. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close to hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall in the deep of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within. It cannot be shaken. God will help it of the drawing of the day. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, under the works of the Lord the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Please stand to honor the gospel. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. A pure heart create for me, O God, and give me again the joy of your help. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Jewish festival and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now at the sheep pool in Jerusalem, there is a building called Beth Zatha, in Hebrew, consisting of five porticos And under these were crowds of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed. One man there had an illness which had lasted 38 years. And when Jesus saw him lying there and knew he had been in this condition for a long time, he said, Do you want to be well again? Sir, replied the sick man, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is disturbed. While I am still on the way, someone else gets there before me. Jesus said, Get up, pick up your sleeping mat and walk. (coughs) The man was cured at once. He picked up his mat and walked away. Now that day happened to be the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, Tis the Sabbath. You are not allowed to carry your sleeping mat. He replied, But the man who cured me told me, Pick up your mat and walk. They asked, Who is the man who said to you, Pick up your mat and walk? The man had no idea who it was, and Jesus had disappeared into the crowd that filled the place. After a while, Jesus met him in the temple and said, Now you are well again. Be sure not to sin any more, or something worse may happen to you. The man went back and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had cured him. And it was because he did things like this on the Sabbath that the Jews began to persecute Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Throughout the season of Lent, our gospel readings have been seem to be consecrate, consecrated on 
healing. And it really is, is a reminder for all of us what Lent is all about. Lent is a time when we turn to the Lord and to be healed of our sinfulness, to try and live our lives in following his teachings. This man, for 38 years, he'd been trying to get into the pool after the angels had stirred it. And he failed each time simply because he was unable to get there quickly on his own. And Jesus realized this and said and then asked him the question, do you want to be well again? And the man says, I have a difficult time to get to the pool On my way, somebody always gets there before me. And Jesus' response was, get up, pick up your sleeping mat and walk. And the man was cured. We make the same mistakes time after time after time. And we should be asking the Lord to help us. To help us to be clear of our sins so that we can share with joy the fullness of his love, both in the Eucharist and, of course, as his re- the Feast of the Resurrection comes, that we can celebrate Easter with tremendous joy, knowing we are doing what the Lord asks. We are doing our best to live our lives the way he wants us to do. And it's important for us that we do exactly this. And the way we live our lives is by helping and encouraging each other, supporting each other, supporting the poor and the sick, the homeless, those who live on their own, many who are very lonely. And we have a responsibility of doing our best that like as Jesus gave the man the command to stand up and pick up your sleeping bag and walk, we too stand up, pick ourselves up and walk and help and share. Let us do our best over the rest of this season of Lent to be a true follower of Jesus. So we stand now for our prayers. Our God is a helper close at hand, a refuge in time of need. We ask him now to hear our prayers. We pray for mercy before, the, before Sabbath, that we will never put law before the good of people. Lord, in your mercy. <clears throat> we pray that Christ, our temple, may always be at the center of our lives and actions. Lord, in your mercy, pray for those without water of any kind, for those who thirst, for those denied affection, opportunity of freedom. Lord, in your mercy. And let us pray for our own spiritual paralysis. that we may experience the healing power of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy. We pray, too, for the intentions of Colin Vaz, 
to whom we're offering this Mass. Lord, sorry, got the wrong one. It was Tuesday. I keep thinking it's Wednesday. We pray for the repose of the soul of Jimmy Duffy, for whom we're offering the Mass. Lord, in your mercy. And let us pray for Gerald Neto, 62-year-old man who sadly was murdered in West London on Sunday. Pray for his family at this time. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray too for all who have asked us to keep them in our prayers. Lord, in your mercy. Let us ask Mary, our mother, to join with us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our Father, you know all our needs, even before we make our requests to you. Listen to our prayers and grant all we ask you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Bless you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Let it be God. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed ye, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit to the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquity, cleanse us all of our sins. <coughs> My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord bless us. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through, for, though, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. 
May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Michael, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Receive his command and form by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always 
free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that ye should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. An act of spiritual communion for those who have joined us online. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things and we desire to receive you into our souls. And since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as you're already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the passes where he gives me repose. Near restful waters, he leads me.
Let us pray. <coughs> Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. We pray for God's blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever it is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. Thank you all very much and have a nice day.